Destiny by Belle Tress in the color Cayenne with Ginger Root. Let's get started. Destiny is a straight bob with a little bit of layering, kind of gives it that rounded shape. It does have very slight bang. It has a center part. Very sleek but modern. I feel like this could be dressed up or worn casual. Very classic. Let's talk about this color. Cayenne with Ginger Root. It's pretty dark, much darker than what I'm used to wearing. It is like that burnt red color. It's a very deep, beautiful red. It does have a very dark root. I don't know what color it is. I'm gonna call it black. It looks very dark. But it looks like somebody had really dark hair and put some red color in it. It's very beautiful, it's very well done. This is in studio lighting and then it's an overcast day. So just whatever this natural light is that's coming in behind me, but it's not a lot. I will definitely get this outside and we'll take a look at it so you can really see this red color because I'm not sure this inside lighting is doing it much, much justice. It's a very beautiful color. The hair fibers in Permatease on Destiny. Beltres is known for their hair fibers. They have some of the best hair fibers on the market. They're also known for not having any Permatease and Destiny is no different. There is no Permatease. This is all hair fiber and shaping and styling and they've done a really good job on shaping this wig to give it that bob with a little bit of roundness. The way they did this layering, it shapes it very well. It does say on the website, the Name Brand Wigs website, that they're heat friendly hair fibers. You could put some curl in this or take a wave iron to it and change up the style. And the shape is consistent all the way around. This is where the layering is and this is where you get that shape that kind of rounds out. It's super cute. It's very easy to wear. I just put it on, comb it out. Super easy to wear. And it's just kind of one of those, um, what are we doing here with this? You know, there's always like one hair. There we go. Oh, these hair fibers, Beltress has these really fine hair fibers that just look so real. I don't know how they make these heat friendly because they don't feel waxy or thick. They're able to keep that fine denier. It's really pretty. Let's talk about this cap. You have a center part, monofilament. You have a contoured lace front, extends back temple to temple, the covered ear tabs, metal stays, and there's hair tied right into those so you get some good coverage. There is no extended nape. You've got the pull adjusters. Again, covered ear tab. I've got my light on the camera. The exposure turned way up so we could see the details on this cap because it's a black cap. In order to really be able to see the details, I blew the light up a bit. And then it's open wefts, machine sewn. There's some good stretch here. You can see the way the hair fibers, there's like monofilament. And then these wefts on the front are just sewn right into that monofilament. Focus. There we go. So you can see the monofilament over the top and the wefts are sewn right into that. Here's what I'll say about Beltress caps. Beltress caps do their job. They fit me fine. You know, not crazy about pull tabs, doesn't have an extended nape. Uh, and the quality it's just kind of middle of the road. It's not like a super substantial cap, but they're lightweight. 
they fit well they do what they're supposed to do i feel like all manufacturers you can tell like where they put their their money where the quality is and in beltress it's these hair fibers they have like i said some of the best hair fibers in the business and i'm not saying it's a bad cap i'm just saying meh, it's a middle of the road cap it does the job I've never had one fall apart on me or feel cheap or anything. They just put in it what needs to be put in it and make a really good hair fiber. <laughs> Let's talk about the measurements for Destiny. The bang is listed at four to four and a half inches. The sides, eight to 10 inches. It says that the nape is two and a half and that overall it's eight to 10 inches. The name brand wigs, Website says that this weighs 3.8 ounces. And honestly, I feel like it feels lighter than that. The average weight for most wigs is around four ounces. I mean, it's pretty average. It just feels so light. This cap is light. These hair fibers are fine and light. It's just a really light wig. It's definitely a wear all day, every day kind of style. It's not fussy. It's easy. It's not in your face. Got a cute little bang. And it's just a really classic bob. Okay, so I talked about the cap and the color, the measurements, the permatease and hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Destiny, I think it's super cute. Like I just said, it's a workhorse wig. Wear every day, all day. It's not fussy. You could add curl to it if you want to, but it's so cute like this classic bob style. You could dress it up, you could wear it casual. I'll be honest, when I first pulled it out of the box, this color was shocking to me on my skin and I was like, oh took me a bit to get used to it and I didn't I was just like not really putting it on because of this color but it's a really pretty color and this style is so good it's a really good style so I love it I think it's a great style you can find this at name brand wigs I'm gonna drop the link below and this has been Destiny by Belle Truss in the color Cayenne with Ginger Root. You know what to do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about Destiny. And if you have it, tell us more about it. Have you curled it? Have you done anything different with it? Let us know. And I'll see you on my next video.